So how was your day, sugar? Not worse than usual. What happened, baby? I just can't take waking him up next to that whore anymore. Every day I say good morning and she pretends to be asleep so she doesn't have to act like she cares. The only reason why we aren't divorced is because I don't want to give her half my shit. And she wants to keep torturing me. We never fuck anymore. And when we do, it's just a way to fake intimacy. We had lost the second I said I do. Anyway, I brushed my teeth and put on a suit worth more than a fucking immigrant's family's yearly income. Those dumbasses. Went down the stairs. I hope to see Ashton with his face in the 400 fucking dollar econ textbook I bought him for college. I bribed him to that shit school. But that was just a dream. And he was probably asleep or too hungover to get out of bed. It's a shame, really. Up until recently, he was the only one I could tolerate. I had hoped he would inherit the firm from me one day, but I guess the dream went up in the smoke of his multiple bongs. I smelled eggs, just the way I like them. And guessed Mackenzie made them in an idiotic attempt to gain some kind of acknowledgement from me. There's no way she's even my kid, but I know a paternity test will destroy my fragile agreement with the bitch I call my wife. And I decided against it a long time ago. Then why don't you leave them? And do what? Leave one whore for another. Don't go there, sweetheart. I've never lied to you about what I am. Forget it. It's not important. Yes, it is. You don't need to hide around me. What else happened at home? All right. Where is I? Oh, yeah. The bastard. Anyway, she looks up at me with an adorably innocent face. And I nod. Eat. And I finally get out of the hell. The hellhole people who don't know me think I call my home. I left for work right after. It was one of the best parts. It's one thousand. Fuck, now here I am, cheating with you. This doesn't have to be cheating. You can leave her and be with me. If that's what you want and you really love me, you can be with me and leave her and get a divorce. Your life is a failure and if you want to leave it, it's up to you, but I'm done with this. What the fuck? I'm not a failure. Yes, huh? you are. What the fuck do you think? That just because I pay you, you get the right to judge me? You don't get to judge this me. This isn't just about money. You're a fucking whore. You don't get to judge Listen, me. Listen, don't even start there because I'm not a whore. If I'm here with you, that makes you a whore too. My life's not a fucking failure. Look, look at, at you. all, look at all this shit man? I have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have all this money, but look at you here in you this car with me. Fuck, get out of here, get out of here, fuck. Get my heels. No, you take care of it, whore. Here's the scarf that you choked me with. Whores. Fuck. What the fuck are you doing, huh? What the fuck? Huh? Close the shit, huh? You're pissing your life away. Why the fuck are you smoking, huh? There's not enough money I can pay to get you through college now, huh? You think what? If you get caught selling drugs again, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen, huh? I can't fucking smell all this shit on you. Ashton, can't believe all these things you're doing. Hey. Don't you dare criticize me. You wanna know why I'm always high? It's all your fault, man. You're fucking horse, bro. You wanna know all the pain you've caused this family? It's all your fault, man. Get out of here. Come on, Ashton. It's not like that. I don't know what the fuck your mom told you, but it's not like that. You, you need to let me explain. I don't believe anything you say, man. Get the fuck out of here. Mmm, eggs and vegetables. Where have you been? Have you sleeping with that slut again? You think I haven't noticed, but these past days, our marriage has gone downhill. If it wasn't for me, you would have been out of this house. You're so lucky you married a woman like me. I'll cut the crap, Meredith. 
What have you been telling my son? You've been lying to him. I, was, I just spoke to him and the things he was telling me about me, I don't understand. Why are you telling these things to my child? You don't get the right. You've been a gold digger since day one. And I, I got it. You're hot and I wanted you. That's it. Use my money to get a woman. Yes, but now, now I'm sad. I'm not happy, all right? And now my son, the only thing I love, because that's the only good thing I got out of this yeah? relationship. Yes, my son. And now you're filling his heads with lies. Just because I work all day doesn't mean you get to lie around here, spend all my money, and fill their heads with lies. And what about her, your your daughter, Mackenzie, which he thinks is his beloved little sister, huh? You were before I was cheating. You were sleeping around with half the country. So you don't get, you don't have the right to judge me. All right. Me? This is my house, my rules. All right. You think this is my fault, really? I may have been the one that sleep before, but now you're the one who's ending this relationship. This relationship is going down because of you. You stopped this whole thing and I've been trying to fix it, but you have ruined it again. You have to chase after what I had done and follow what I had done and now you're the one who's ruining this. I think I did once, Jordan, but with all the stuff that has been happening, I kind of forget the day that I fell in love, fell in love with you. Why are we doing this to ourselves, darling? I want something out of life. I want to be happy and I'm, not, I'm just not happy with you. It's not my fault, but we both need to move on. I know you don't believe in the worst, but my god, man, this isn't healthy. I mean, look at us. Do you really want to live the rest of your life like this? I want to be happy. I need to be happy. And I simply can't be happy. Please understand, man. I can't live like this anymore. No way, it's not. I want you to do this. Meredith. Will you do me the honor of divorcing me? Hell no. This isn't a marriage. This is a business. Screw you, Meredith. If you don't do this for me, I swear to God, I'll tell the kids what type of person you are. Don't what you What sins dare. you've committed. Don't you And dare. all you have left will be your used up looks. That's all I have. Why would you do that to me? The kids are all I have and all I love. Then choose our marriage or the kids. But you can't have both. This is a toxic marriage. I can't, I can't keep dealing with this. Plus, you had Mackenzie while well, we were still married. He had him with another guy. A guy I don't even know who he, who he is. I can't. I can't look at that kid, and and you. I can't stand you. If you tell the kids that Mackenzie isn't your child, I swear to God, they will never want to see you ever again. And I'm gonna tell them so much shit about you. It's fine. I don't even want to see the kids. I'm not even sure if they're mine. Plus, Ashton. Ashton's. A, he's a junkie. He, he's not going Stop anywhere. Stop talking shit about your kids. He's not going anywhere in life. And Mackenzie, Mackenzie, not even my child. I just want to leave you. Just grab right, me this. Alright, then fucking leave. I just want to divorce you. Will you grab me a divorce? Leave, Jordan. Fine. Hi. Yeah, baby. I did. I'm leaving her. Sorry, buddy. I don't know what to tell you, but I paid for the hour. What? She told me she was done. She told me she was done. I loved her. Huh? She's in the shower right now, but I can tell her to call you when she gets out. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I love this woman. I left her. I left, I left, I left my wife. I did everything for her. You know what? Don't bother.